example of the chain rule. Um, so again, remember when we're looking at chain rule, the basic thing I, I like to do when doing the chain rule is always look at what is my outside function and what exactly is my inside function. So if I'm just going to look at this, I can again say that this inside function, this is ln, just like sine and cosine, you're taking the sine of an angle, cosine of an angle. Same thing with the ln and log. You're taking a, um, the ln of a value. So I'm just going to say the um, inside value here is going to be of u is going to be ln of x. So therefore, this is going to be 1 over, I'm sorry, ln of u. Um, yeah, what am I in here? So I'm not going to show it that way. Let's go ahead and find this first derivative. You can see here is going to be our first value. If you um, Actually, let's go back to our f of x and g of x. Right? So if I'm going to take the derivative, I'm going to take the derivative of my outside function, f of x, which is 1 over x. But then I'm going to plug in, remember, my, second, uh, my g of x. So it's 1 over ln of x. And then times the derivative of that, which is times g prime, which is 1 over x. If you guys remember, that's the way that first I showed it. Right? So therefore, I can say y prime equals 1 over x ln of x. So now, once I've found y prime, now all I need to do is go ahead and do this again to find the second derivative. And you could put this, you could put this negative exponent, use the um, product rule, or you could also use the uh, quotient rule. So when go ahead and apply this on the first portion, when I'm going to if I'm going to take the derivative, I would have basically derivative of my numerator times x ln of x, which we know is just going to go to 0. And then minus, if I'm going to take the derivative of my denominator, I'd have to use the product rule. So I'm basically using the product rule within the quotient rule. So over here, I will basically have, um, let's see, derivative of x is going to be 1 times uh, negative 1 times x1 over x plus, and then the derivative of x times my ln of x times 1. x times 1 over x. Oh, well, that cancels into my 1. So that goes to negative 1 times ln of x. Oops, yeah, OK. And then all over x ln of x squared. y prime equals negative 1 minus that becomes my x over x. x over x becomes 1, so that becomes negative 1. And then this becomes ln of x all over, I'll just leave that as x ln of x squared. So the first one comes to 0. This goes to, neg this goes to 1, and so, but it's multiplied by a negative. Distribute the negative to both of them. That becomes ln of x. And then you basically have um, x ln of x squared.